Oh, the sunshine. I was trying to start this YouTube video that I'll be filming on my phone. It's the sun's fault. Mm. We're filming on my phone today, so the quality is, uh, we don't know how this is gonna be. This is where I come to work all the time. Hang out with my laptop and just do a bunch of work. It's a local coffee shop in my town and I love it. We got a sugar-free pumpkin spice latte. Sometimes they do sugar-free, sometimes they don't. I don't know, depends on my mood. Um, sugar-free pumpkin spice latte with oat milk. And this place does pumpkin spice lattes with a couple pumps, thank you, of pumpkin spice and a shot of white chocolate, which is interesting. Normally when I get a pumpkin spice latte, woo, normally when I get a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, I will do only two pumps of the pumpkin sauce. Normally there's four in like a grande and I'll do a shot of cinnamon dolce because it makes it a little less sweet and a little more spicy to me. Um, but they, the way they make it here is just really good. Uh, it doesn't taste too sweet at all. I think they don't overdo the pumpkin. I don't know. Hot, but good. So good. Mm. So today it's October 2nd, 3rd. October 2nd. It's very fall. I'm so sorry this is so wobbly. Off in the Michigan roads. Michi yeah, for real. Anyway, <laughs> it's October 2nd. It's freezing out. I think it's 40 degrees right now, which I love. Like, I like summer. I used to not like summer because I hate being super hot and sweaty. I like summer now, but like, I love fall in the beginning of winter. We move <laughs> the orange monster for me my other source of caffeine. Yeah, it's just super chilly and cold and I'm wearing like warm clothes cause it's cold and I'm happy. Um, so we're on our way to go hiking though cause we're crazy and we like to hike when it's 40 degrees out. Oh, I just love fall so much. I know I'm like that girl and you guys are like, okay, like every girl likes fall in it. But I really like it and I really like cold weather and I'm very happy. So. Uh, what we're doing today in this vlog is just kind of like a hangout with us today, you know? Uh, a lot of people have been asking for like day in the life content. Sorry, also I keep looking at myself instead of you guys. So yeah, we're going hiking today. I also am going to show you, I went to Trader Joe's last night, picked up some fall goodies and also filmed the fall goodies there that looked really fun. Um, so I'm going to show that shortly. I mean, a fun fall day. It's also Friday, which is one of our off days. Matt and I take Friday and Saturday off every week. as just like completely off from work. We just hang out, have fun, rest, relax, hike. I'm very excited, so. Check in with you guys later. <sighs> so pretty. I love Michigan in the fall. Ready to hike? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's freezing out here. What does the temperature say? It is. Drum roll, please. 41 degrees. 41 degrees. Feels like 36. <laughs> it's freezing. But that's okay. I have gloves. I have a scarf. I have my winter outfit. I got my winter outfit. Look at it. I just love the cold. <laughs> and I love your. <laughs> Man, I love these woods. Let's see if I can get this wide angle. There we go. Here's some low quality footage, but wide angle. Man. 
So these are our favorite woods, would you yes. say? Favorite trail. Favorite trail to go on because it's just so pretty. And it's freezing, <laughs> more freezing than I anticipated. Uh, I am very cold, but I mean, the longer we hike, we'll warm up. And it's supposed to be what, like 50, 55 today? Mm -hmm. So it's just super early. It's like 9.30 or something, right? Yep. So it just hasn't had a chance to warm up yet. But does anybody else like me? Do you like, like being outside in the chilly cold and like hiking and like, or are you normal? <laughs> you just want to be on a beach somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, so we're grabbing lunch. Our hike was lovely. How long did we hike for? Mm, what time is it? Probably two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Wowie. Mm -hmm. Finally warmed up. Feeling amazing. And now we are getting lunch at Panera. Because I know they have some delicious seasonal stuff. And I'm in the mood for seasonal stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Mm. All right, so I got their autumn squash soup. I think it's like a butternut squash, pumpkin, cinnamony, delicious soup. I don't actually know, I've never tried it, so we'll see. Just wanted something kind of fall-ish. Um, and then just a Caesar salad. Um, this meal, by the way, with like all of these components is 580 calories. I'm not really counting calories lately, but for anyone who like, hey, you can eat out and it be not super high calorie um, and eat delicious things. Hi, I don't know what he got, but I made us get this to split. It's like the new broccoli cheddar mac and cheese thing. It's like the broccoli cheddar soup, but mac and cheese. I don't know, I'm gonna try it, see how it goes. Bacon cheddar melts chipotle. Yum. So let me try this soup. Get a whole... Oh, man. It's so good. I forgot there's like a little bit of curry in here. That is so good. We gotta try the autumn squash soup from Panera. It is amazing. Super good. Okay, now we're gonna try this broccoli cheddar mac, broccoli and cheese. I don't know. I think this is new. I don't know. I haven't been here in forever. I don't know. This soup was just so good that everything's paling in comparison. It's good. I like it. Thanks for the monster, pal. You got it. Mmm, monster. All right, so now we are going to, what are we gonna go do? Buy a TV. <laughs> Buy a TV. Because here's the thing, I feel like th they're, this is gonna be heated because I talked about this on Instagram and it got heated uh, of what people think. Um, but we have never had a TV in our bedroom. I was raised by parents who were like, TV should never be in the bedroom. I don't even know why like when I was a kid they were like you shouldn't be exposed to TV that much anyway because it's ungodly and then like I feel like it's like really common marriage advice to say like the bedroom should be for sleep and sex and like TV can like m like ruin your sleep and like I guess prevent you from having sex um, but and we always believe that too like since we got married we were always like no nah, we're not gonna have a TV in the bedroom um, but in the last like probably three years, every single night before bed, we always watch an episode, an episode or two of like The Office or Parks and Rec, or 
we watch like something on YouTube, just like something fun and whatever. And we always watch it on your his little iPad and it's like just this tiny screen and we're like laying in like, we usually just like put it on my stomach <laughs> and he just cuddles up to me and like, it's just annoying and I'm like, why like we are and the habit has never kept us up either like it really doesn't keep us up late we like to sleep we also like to have sex so like the ipad has never stopped us from either of those things so i feel like let's just put a tv in there neither of us are people who are gonna like want the tv on to sleep neither of us are gonna want to like like i really just want it for the same reasons we already have it and one other reason i want to watch movies in bed on weekend mornings that just sounds like the most luxurious thing you could do in your own house and so yeah we're getting a tv for our bedroom you may disagree with our decision that is okay i'm excited for it um so we bought a dresser yesterday at ikea um which he's still putting together it's fine three and a half hours later it's half well listen gone. the dresser was 250 dollars. you're paying like you're paying in your time. You're paying for this dresser in your time. That's how it works. If we wanted a dresser already put together, it probably would've been like $600. So like, you know how the system works. You pay with time or you pay with money. That's how that's how things work in this world. Um, yeah, so we have the dresser semi-built and we're gonna go buy the TV right now. What size TV are we gonna get? Big. Big. But like, it's not gonna be like a super duper nice one. Like, it's not gonna be a super crazy nice quality, right? No, we have one downstairs. Yeah, like the, we don't intend for this to be our main TV. Our main TV on the main floor, we like invested in like a really nice one, one that would last. This one is gonna be like, like a four hundred dollar TV or something. Like, mm -hmm. we will not use this TV that much. Although I say this now, and everyone watching is probably like, you just wait. It'll become your main TV. I don't want it to be. I don't want to be those people that like stay in bed all day and watch TV. People, okay. And if you are those people, it's 1000% okay. <laughs> it's 2020, you have to preface everything you say on the internet. <laughs> everything is a joke. Everything is a terrible joke. Okay, um, we're gonna go buy a TV. What you looking for, baby? What's that? What you looking for? TV. I know, but like, is there a criteria? Yeah, 500-ish dollars. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> yep. Just sitting here because I don't think I have anything to add to this search. <laughs> so I'll just sit here and let him choose our TV. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we're back home. We bought our TV. Matt's upstairs finishing putting together the dresser so that we can put the TV on the dresser. Super excited. Um, so I went to Trader Joe's yesterday. I think I told you guys that. I filmed a lot of the stuff that I saw there that was like new to me or just like fall themed. So I'm going to show that footage, just those little clips of some fun stuff I saw right here.
Okay, so uh, I didn't buy most of the stuff I showed you guys because I don't need a bunch of like fall treats in my house and like I like pumpkin spice but I don't like love it so much that I want loads and loads of pumpkin flavored things in the fall and so it's, that's just me but I did pick up a few things that are either new or seasonal j literally just a few things this is really more of a grocery haul than it is like a fall haul or whatever so whatever I picked up these flowers from Trader Joe's because they're really pretty. I thought, for, for whatever reason, I saw these and thought these were tulips. Definitely not tulips, but definitely super cute. Um, I super love them. I love Trader Joe's flowers. They always have the cutest flowers. Um, for produce, I just picked up a few things. I'm still doing a lot of icon meals right now throughout the week um, and really just supplementing that with like the occasional salad, um, eggs, that's really it. <laughs> and like protein shakes maybe. Um, but I always love this Champs Elysees. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. It's called this lettuce from uh, Trader Joe's. It's like just the right amount of like crunchy, but still like really good healthy greens in there. Um, this is one of my favorites. So I picked up some of that. I also picked up these super cute colorful carrots because colorful carrots are super fun, especially in the fall. So I'm making these today with dinner, which dinner is gonna be um, bone-in pork chops, which I also bought from Trader Joe's, but they're sitting in marinade right now, so I'm not gonna be able to show you guys them. So we're gonna have those bone-in pork chops with these carrots cut up and in like a brown sugar cinnamon glaze and like roasted. So that's gonna be super duper good. Really excited for dinner tonight. I also just picked up some mushrooms. I love having these either cooked on their own as like a side or like in literally anything. I just love chopped mushrooms. Got some eggs, just large cage-free eggs. And onto some cool things. You guys already know if you've been here for a while and you're a real one, I love unexpected cheddar. It's probably my favorite food on planet Earth. Like, it's so good. And I've not been to Trader Joe's basically this whole year because of the pandemic. Um, and I like hate standing in line for anything. So anytime I would drive by Trader Joe's and there'd be a line, I just wouldn't go. Um, so I stocked up on Unexpected Cheddar and was so excited to see it there. I've missed it so very much. If you haven't tried it, it's just like the best sharp cheddar ever, like sharp white cheddar. Um, I think they like mix it, they blend it a little bit with aged Parmesan. Yeah, little little bit of hints of Parmesan. It's just so good. And I saw you guys were tagging me in this literally nonstop in the last, in like a couple months ago when it came out, but they have unexpected cheddar shredded, which is super awesome. I normally have to shred the blocks myself and it's like super crumbly and messy and just not a good time for me when I have to do that. So this is so cool. They have shredded cheddar now of the unexpected cheddar. Super excited to use it. Speaking of unexpected cheddar, they also have this unexpected cheddar broccoli cheddar soup, which I love broccoli cheddar soups, one of my favorite soups. I am pretty picky about soups, I would say. Like, I loved the squash one earlier. I really like, like, creamy soups. Like, I do, although I will say I got obsessed with, like, a minestrone soup last year uh, with, like, a ton of veggies and it was broth-based. It's really good. But um, I really like creamy soups. So I got this. This looks so good. However, I... I've heard that it's like kind of watery. I've also heard, because I was looking it up last night on like a Trader Joe's Instagram account, that a lot of people feel like this isn't that great. So we'll see. Um, I mean, it's a ton of soup. This entire container is 500 calories, which I would never have this entire container in one sitting. Just preference. I don't like to have a ton of soup in one sitting. Um, but I felt like it was really kind of calorie friendly. And... Yeah, we'll try it. We'll see how I like it. Uh, but I'm, I am excited to try it. I also stocked up on my Trader Joe's balsamic glaze. Sorry, I keep forgetting to look at you guys. I keep looking at myself. Phones are weird. Um, I just like this stuff on so many different things. It's basically like a balsamic vinegar, but like a little bit sweeter. 
And the two pumpkin or like fall treats I did decide to pick up. Uh, I have shown this before. Every year that they come out with it, I always get it. I grabbed it at the last second when we were like checking out and I was like, I need to get one of these. But I wish I had grabbed like seven because they're just Belgian chocolates that are like walnut praline flavor, caramel cream, hazelnut praline, and then crispy hazelnut praline. They're just, uh, so a lot of pralines looks like. They just taste so good to me and I love them so very much. Um, so I might go back and get like five more boxes of these because I love having these in my house. And then I also decided to try these chocolate mousse pumpkins. They're velvety chocolate cakes with silky mousse. Now this might be misleading. This is not pumpkin flavored. Um, and I didn't think it was. I saw chocolate mousse pumpkins and I just thought it was like pumpkin shaped. But a I posted about this on Instagram last night and a few of you were like, just so you know, it's not pumpkin flavored. I'm like, that's actually preferable for me. But um, as you can see, I've dug into these already. I had two of these last night. They are so good. They're so good. They're just like little, like almost like little Debbie's cakes, but like fancier. I don't know. I love mousse as like a dessert period. And these are just so good. I'm going back and buying the entire stock. How long do these last? This is sell by 10.9. It's now 10.2. So like a week. Okay. So I just have to get through whatever I buy in like a week or so. <laughs> so good though. And then, oh, I guess that's it. I guess that's all I bought. So yeah, that's all I got. Hello, we are now like three days later from when I last filmed in this vlog. Um, I was like gonna show you guys a nice dinner that I was gonna cook, uh, but then we didn't, we like didn't cook dinner. We just ate leftovers and I was gonna show you guys my new TV and I just like completely forgot. So to wrap up this vlog, I'm gonna show you guys the TV. I wanted to like make my bed, make my room look cute. It just doesn't look cute, but like that's life, right? So this, this TV is ginormous. I, maybe it doesn't look ginormous because we have uh, pretty tall ceilings in here, but it's it's ginormous. When I first got in bed and was watching this TV, it like was giving me like vertigo. It's so big. Um, but yeah, that's the dresser Matt put together for me. We got it from Ikea. It matches this dresser that I've had for a few months. That's my underwear. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the TV that we bought. It's awesome. I think it's like 65 inches. I don't know, but we love it. I was really excited to show you guys the pork marinade recipe that I made and like the carrots. So I'm going to put the, those two recipes in the description box below. Future Lynette, please remember to do that because I always say I'm going to share stuff with you guys. And then I like don't. And there's always a comment that's like, where's the recipe? And I'm like, my bad. <laughs> so I'm going to share that. It's the pork marinade recipe. It's super duper good. And uh, like brown sugar, cinnamon, carrots also super good. Both really amazing for fall. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to wrap this vlog up, this little fall life vlog. And just, yeah, I hope this was enjoyable for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.